Richard Steam. I'm a distinguished professor emeritus in the Department of Pediatrics here at UCLA. I was the program director at UCLA from 1970 until 2015, and we had an allergy training program, but not an immunology program, and this is what I added to it, allergy and immunology. Hi, uh, my name is Manish Butte, and I'm a professor here at UCLA, and I'm the holder of the E. Richard Steam Endowed Chair in Pediatric Allergy, Immunology, and Rheumatology. The idea that this place, this institution, has been so foundational in the field of pediatric immunology and allowing me to take that mantle and hire new faculty, uh, train new fellows, uh, train new students in, in studying the immune system, it, it's a burden and it's also a privilege. Although we are pediatricians at heart, uh, the disorders we take care of in children become the same disorders that we have to take care of in adults. And in my clinic, I see many 40, 50, 60 year olds with disorders that they started with when they were children. In fact, one of the patients I've taken, gotten to taken care of now, Dr. Steam first diagnosed when he was a baby, uh, 48 years ago and did a bone marrow transplant for to save this uh, child who was profoundly ill in the late 1960s. We now follow him 50 years later and we have found that his immune system remains fixed uh, after the work that Dr. Steam did 50 years ago. And he has established a marvelous program emphasizing genetics of immunodeficiency. My lab has uh, two parts to it. One part is focused on the kinds of problems we take care of in clinic. Uh, these are children and adults who have disorders of their immune system. Uh, the other half of my lab is very interested in T cells. T cells are the coordinators of the immune system. They tell each and every other part of the immune system what to do, when to fight, when to stop fighting. And I find that process to be really fascinating to understand what makes them turn on and what makes them turn off. He recently treated and cured a boy with coccidiomycosis, a five-year-old boy who had valley fever. He was on death's doorstep. Well, Dr. Boot realized that he had too much antibodies and not enough T cells. So he gave him drugs to suppress his antibody and increase his T cells. And the child walked out cured really one of the most amazing recovery of coccidiomycosis published in the very uh, prestigious New England Journal of Medicine. The new treatments for cancer, for patients with unusual infections, um, for aging, for Alzheimer's disease, the answer is going to be in immunology. I would like to take the opportunity to thank Dr. Steam and his family. I think they have been incredibly generous in taking their vision of how immunology uh, was back in the 1960s and him carrying it forward to today uh, and allowing me to continue that legacy and carrying it forward for the rest of my career is a special gift.